Hi, my name is Dex from Mind Consult, and since 2003, we've actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting systems. So if you'd like to support us to create more contents frequently, do like and subscribe today, alright? So with the implementation of e-invoice, there are multiple components that we should need to take note of, alright? So to begin the implementation of e-invoice in SQL Accounting, uh, we will be actually going to be covering different topics on how we actually can uh, create e-invoice through SQL Accounting. So in this video, we'll be looking into how we can create a self-built e-invoice for foreign suppliers inside SQL Accounting. Okay, so to begin, we first would like to create a supplier. So come here, supplier. Come here to maintain supplier. Alright, so let's create a new supplier. Let's say we press um, ABC Private Limited. Okay, so we can key in all the details as per normal things like what is your currency, say example, I deal with US dollar. And then you can key in the address and things like that. So let's say I go in US. Okay. Okay, let's say we say uh, Australia. Okay. Then we change it to AUD. Don't have. So now we, we can change US dollar. Alright. So the other things that you need to take note of, right? First, you need to come here to this thing called e-invoice submission. You need to come here to change it to self bill. Second, under here we have this thing called a classification. So in this example, what happens is this supplier will be someone that supplies me products. So from here, I can come here, drop down list. I can say I am doing an importation of goods. So of course, if your supplier provides you service, then you press importation of services. But for me, I'm going to use this as example, importation of goods. Okay, so 034. So the next thing that you will need to do is you need to come here to tax here. And here you can see there is this thing called TIN. So of course, for a foreign supplier, they don't have a tax identification number in Malaysia. So what happened is you must come here and say this is a foreign supplier. Okay, so system will automatically come up with this call E100030. Alright, okay, once you're done, you can press save and now we can generate our self build invoice. Okay, to generate a self build invoice, all invoices must be keen under purchase side under purchase invoice okay we just press new and let's say example just now we created this call called abc private limited okay so of course you can change the exchange rate so example now it's 4.65 then you can just change it here here we can select our product and items so let's say i want to import in this product and we can straight away see the classification code is automatically changed to 034 however of course sometimes in an invoice you can actually change the classification code yourself but in this example i will change this and i can say okay i want to buy 100 chairs at 10,700 again all right so once i done i press save okay so this is the normal way you are creating your invoices so how are we going to create an e-invoice or a self build e invoice through sql accounting so on the right side you can see this thing called a my invoice we can click my invoice function and here you can see submit sandbox e invoice of course right now i'm doing a testing environment so that's why it has this word called sandbox okay so of course if you go live then you will not have the sandbox word anymore right so let's press submit okay so now it shows that it's confirmed and it's already automatically generated the qr code okay so once we're done we press back browse straight away you can see from a status right this is called valid and then over here you can see there's a tick sign tick sign means this invoice has been uh, validated by lhdn and on the left hand side you can see this is called two days because in invoice there's this thing called a 72 days rule where in the 72 days uh sorry the 72 hours you can actually uh make amendment to the invoice however after that 72 hours what happens is you need to create a credit note or debit note to make the amendment all right so this is actually how you can create a self bill invoice with sql accounting if you have another topic you like us to cover do leave it in the comment below all right thank you